Welcome to the Buck Moon, the Thunder Moon, or the Hay Moon. Um, it's July, and uh, we just finished part one, the European tour in Dublin. We had a lovely gig there uh, with Mary Robinson in attendance, which was great. Um, and the next release for this month is a song uh, called So Much. So much unfinished business All sticky with desire Raking through the empty shells Of all the rockets we fired Set the navigation For the earth all warm and wet And as the longing drops away The compass is reset It's about mortality, getting old, um, all the bright, cheerful subjects, but I think um, when you get to my sort of age, you either run away from uh, mortality or you jump into it and try and live life to the full. Uh, and that always seems to make a lot more sense to me. The countries that seem most alive are those that have death as part of their culture. So anyway, this is a sort of reflective song and uh, um, I think Chad, who's been mixing my stuff for many years, he says it's the best thing I've ever done. Uh, there are other people who don't like it at all. So I think it's going to split an audience. Um, and uh, it's, yeah, it's very understated. And um, we had a piano version, a guitar version, and then one with a bit of orchestra as well. And I think we have a combination now in the final mix. Ah, there's so much to live for So much left to give This edition is limited There's only so much can be done I am addicted to new ideas and all sorts of projects and and I get excited by things and want to jump around um, and so you know I love being in a mess of so much and yet so much also means there's just so much time or whatever it is uh, available so balancing those two so much is um, is what the song's about when you feel the clock ticking um, you've got to ask yourself, you know, is this really what I want to do? You know, and I think uh, if I can put myself at the point of death and looking back, you know, what is it I'm going to be pleased I spent time doing? I'm pleased I spent time not doing. Uh, and I think it's, it gives you a freedom in some way. And I think a lot of life is learning to say no and overcoming fear. We all have fears uh, and just we handle them in different ways. And uh, I've had health issues, my family's had health issues. And so, you know, you start this age appropriate thinking. Um, but uh, like I said, you can either sort of see it as these dark clouds pressing down on you. Um, or you can see it as a kick up the backside, get on with living. And, uh, and I hope that's the way um, I've taken it. I think it really took life when, when I wrote the lyric um, and when I found that. So, uh, and I'm not sure, I think that's around 2015, 16. I, think I wrote it upstairs and uh, came down here actually when uh, and Dickie heard the first version and I got most of the lyric, um, some of it was improved, I think, but most of it came in one, one hit. 
I was trying to get a very simple chorus, but which still had some sort of substance to the harmony and melody, because um, it's very easy with some simple songs just to fall into cliches. Um, so I was trying to get something that was easy to digest, but still had a bit of character to it. The simplicity of the song is um, what made it, it progressed further, faster than a lot of the stuff I work on. Um, so, uh, and I wasn't trying, uh, I was trying purposefully not to be clever with this. I have a friend, a sculptor, Mark Quinn, and I was talking to him about this project. And he said, oh, I really want you to meet Henry Hudson. And uh, so I said, okay, and went to meet him at the Freeze Art Fair where I was with Mark. And then uh, I started looking at Henry's work and uh, thought it was great. He's done this work with plasticine, but then he also has this other more expressionist sort of horizon work with different colors. Um, and they're very simple and pure. And uh, yeah, and I connected quite strongly with them. I did see a relationship between my work and so much um, in the sense that it was uh, dealing with time, uh, maybe the lack of or um, our understanding of what time is. And so with time, you know, dealing with vo voids or horizons or places that can appear to be closer or somewhat further away. So I like this idea. He painted a picture of it being um, perhaps looking down at the planet or looking up into space. Um, there's a kind of uh, universalness about the song. It's a very mature, grown-up song. It's being told or sung to us by someone that clearly has lived. And I think the relation between that song and My Horizon Lines actually are quite poignant. I made them during the pandemic, so there was that influence clearly too. But it was also, I made them uh, the compositions, I made them when I was flying, because I flew actually in the pandemic, pretty much on an empty aeroplane. So there was no one in this capsule and I was in the air. And it's a whole different other experience where it's just your, you. They, they are inwardly uh, looking trajectories about our soul or our spirits, rather like when you shut your eyes and you're in half of a daydream and you can see the light sort of perpetrating around. But they are landscape paintings and they're landscape paintings about using the technology that we have, an aeroplane, and making landscape paintings. It was great meeting Henry and uh, he had us around in the studio and he and uh, Nicola showed us how they make a lot of the, the stuff and uh, it's this layers of plasticine. There's a certain amount of tension when you see um, Henry and Nicola do this horizon because um, many days of work can be destroyed in a flash um, with a little um, wrong turn of the horizon. There's a physicality to, to the, a three-dimensional element to the way he puts the work together and um, this idea of just cutting the horizon uh, in, a, in a different color um, and he wanted it to be uh, yellow and then effectively bleed onto the painting. I thought it was a beautiful and powerful idea and uh, so in the one sense horizon is, is uh, it's the infinite and it's the limit. Um, so it had some good symbolism too I think. It's a great piece of work. So much can be done Only so much can be done It's a simple song. I hope you like it. Mm -hmm.